Hi, I'm Greg Hammerly. I'm part of the analytics team and I'm going to present problem I, ship traffic. Ship traffic is a fairly easy problem. Um, you are imagining yourself as a ferry boat that is going to cross from Morocco to Spain across a body of water. In this body of water there are a number of lanes and in these lanes ship, ships can move either east or west at a constant velocity and of course when they are crossing uh, where you want to cross you cannot pass. So you want to know how can you get from, Spain, uh, from Morocco to Spain um, and in particular what is the largest window of time during which you can do your crossing. That is the goal of the problem. So you're given up to uh, 10,000 lanes and in those lanes there will be a total of up to 10,000 ships and uh, you're given the velocity of all the ships which is constant and the same for all ships and you're given the position for all ships and you're also given the length of all the ships. So this is uh, made much easier if you treat the problem as all ships traveling in the same direction because really east and west does not matter so you can flip all the westbound ships to be eastbound or vice versa. You can also compress all of the ships down into one lane uh, if you consider pushing the uh, starting positions back in time for when you would have reached that lane with the ferry because you can't be in that same lane with the ship at the same time. Once you get all the ships into the same representation for the same reference of time and space then you can sort, uh, then, then each of these ships presents an interval of time during which you may not cross because those ships are touching this crossing line and you can sort all those intervals uh, by their time and then search for the largest gap in those intervals. Um, we expect that to take n log n time for n ships. Thank you very much.